Hey, what's up guys? We're the Caper Couple. If you're new to our channel, subscribe to the channel, please help us out guys. So today we're, um, we're on our way back out to the Sterling Mine. She's never seen it yet. And we're actually gonna get down there today, guys. Excitement. Uh, get you guys some nice drone footage above the area. Show you that all over again without snow on it this time. A lot prettier. That should be a... Uh, should be a fun day guys but it's an awful long drive so we'll catch you guys back when we get there catch you later people peace Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, Laura's sitting in the car. There's just too many flies in that out here, but we couldn't get down Sterling Road. I'm going to try and find another route there, but we passed this nice little monument on the way, and as you can see, I'll read it to you guys. It says, to honor and perpetuate the memory of the pioneers who came to Loch Lomond from the islands of Harris and Eust, Scotland, in the year 1828. Erected by the citizens of 1928, memorial service to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the settlement, July 15th, 1978. So it's just a big stone monument, guys. We have a view of all sides of us. So pretty cool. It's, uh, it's pretty much the only thing out here. It's all country roads, guys. You see there's an old church up ahead here. And uh, I've got to go that way to the right somehow. I've got to find a road leading that way. So I'll let you guys go. As you can see, the flies are hoarding me here. So I'll catch you guys back when I arrive there. What's up guys? We finally made it. And I mean finally. It was like close to three hours ride because uh, we couldn't get up the Sterling Road from Loch Lomond Road. Everything was grown in so we had to take an alternate route all the way around. But here you go guys. There's the first tower down. Uh, this is the mine road. I was able to get the car all the way in. Thank God. So just give me a second here. I'll... Uh, Turn my mic around so you guys can hear me better. It got a little bit windy. Okay, guys. So that's the entrance way. Now I'm just going to read you guys, tell you guys the information that I've told last time for anybody that didn't see the last vid. So established in 1872 and one of the many operated in Canada and one of the most forgotten mines operated by Glace Bay Mining Company as a shaft mine first owned by Thomas Payton, Dr. William Sterling and two other men until Payton sold his share to Sterling and it's been operated between 1872 and 1914 it's known as Old Harbor Mine or the Sterling Mine. Now, this mine dried up sometime in 1895 
Um, uh, that was which uh, dried up sometime in 1895 and was when uh, coal was first discovered near the business sector of town. Closed down in 1896 and was abandoned. First little building, there's uh, the old ruins left. There's lots of buildings and stuff up here, guys. All kinds. I'll get you guys some really nice drone footage in a few minutes here. We're just gonna walk the area and show you around. Like I say, this is a shaft mine. I'm not sure where the entrance is, but we're not gonna go rooting around in there. You gotta be careful around here, guys, because they used a lot of asbestos around here. It's in uh, this foundation here. I shouldn't have walked by it, but I was uh, too caught up in telling you guys about that. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, you can get in around there. See that stairs go in and down. Let's just have a quick little boo, guys. Uh, yeah, you can get in around this side. No, I can't. I gotta go all the way back around. But you can see they're, uh, they're really big foundations. A lot of people come here. It's a popular site. There you go, there's all kinds of water in there, guys. I'm not going in there. Uh, there's a lake over there, people over there. So have a look, check it out. There's a shaft. The entrance to the shaft is right there, guys. You can go in that way. But, uh, oh, sorry guys, I just gotta fix this. Cord was in the way. Yeah, the, the tunnel leads right under here, under my feet. Where you at, Laura? Babe! Okay, stay there, I'm coming. Look at all the shells on the ground, guys. Somebody was here popping them off. Sorry about the mic. Uh, the mic is making the gimbal jump around, the cable bouncing. I'm doing my best to keep it steady. Well, we'll head over to the left of me in a few minutes here. It's a big area. Really big area. And I'm glad I finally got down here to show you guys this. So what do you think, guys? What do you think of the area? Cool lake. It's awful dirty water. Really brownish, reddish looking. And there's trails running all up there. So yeah guys, nice big area. Explore up here. Urban exploration. I know there's a channel out there called The Proper People. Those guys would like to uh, check this place out. You know, a subscriber of mine had pictures on Facebook in the winter there. That's what got me interested in this place. She had pictures of this. See that? Really cool looking uh, piece of foundation here. Gotta wait for little Missy, she's a straggler. Come on, straggler. My little straggler. I 
But yeah guys it took us a long time to get out here they say we're probably on the road three hours now I think we left at 11 uh, almost four hours because it's almost uh, it's almost three o'clock it's almost three in the afternoon now cool sight though eh guys really cool sight I'm glad the fly, there aren't uh, flies here to carry you away though not like the falls we just came from it's uh some pretty level ground over there oh, it's pretty mucky there there's a moss So here you go guys, pretty cool. Come on, come across. Pretty cool area. Really decent. It's all water in that foundation. Oh, that one's pretty deep. Be quite the bathtub. <laughs> quite the bathtub. Lots of steel here. Lots of steel for anybody who wants to come in and uh, collect it up. It's an awful long drive to get here though. It's not worth the ride. Look at that shells around, man. There's more there. Somebody was here popping off guns. They were popping them off like crazy. There's another one. There's an aluminum barbecue lid. Oh, how do I get up there? I'm gonna have to go around, I think. Huh? Just follow me. We'll get up there. Another shell. There are all kinds of gun shells here, guys. Shotgun shells. An old piece of a, a truck. Old fender. Can't go that way. No, I'm not going that way. I'm gonna have to get back out and go up around. But I certainly want to go check out those two big, uh, those big round, big round parts up above here. Let's get up there. We're gonna have to go back out around and go up. That's what I want to see up there. Watch out for nails. Look. See the nails sticking out of that? Where? Out of that board right there. Just watch where you're walking, that's all. So there are nails in around here. You don't want to get that in your foot. Be certainly going for a tetanus shot coming out of here. Here, give me your hand. All right. So what do you think guys? You like this area? It'd be pretty cool if the government come in and clean this one up. Here, step down on that. Come on. Step down. Just jump down. Come on. You can shake in. There you go. So get up around here guys and we'll check the other side out and then I'll get you guys some aerial footage up the bank we go you see how big the area is there's more ruins up there look up on the hill you want to walk up to them I can fly it. I wanted to check these ones out for sure. I don't even know how you get in these. Pretty cool area, guys. The old Sterling Mine. That's a battery. 
and the battery. Wow. What a mess up here. But it's a cool area. I don't know if I can get up there. There's no way to climb up. And I've got all this gear on my back, so it's not really worth me getting up there. Give you guys a view. See that, guys? I wish there were a set of stairs taking you up here, but there's not. So yeah, that's all that's up here. Not really much. Some graffiti. There must have been a set of steps taking you up the top here, though. Well, I can probably get up right here if I really want it. And pretty much up here now there's nothing up here guys but they're pretty cool like I say just uh, be careful for asbestos when you're in around here and I, uh, I think I think this area is haunted too pretty sure the boys from Hans from the Cape wanted to come and check this area out so with that being said, we'll get the drone out, get you guys some aerial footage before we, uh, we either head up there or head out. So uh, catch you guys back in a few. See you then. getting kind of late now it's a little after four so we're gonna pack up and head on home still got a long long ride ahead of us so until the next one guys subscribe to the channel get yourself a chance to win that drone we really want to give that drone away so get us to the thousand subscribers we'll give it away one of you lucky guys will get it uh, comment underneath guys leave us a like make sure your post notifications are on and until the next time catch you later bye guys peace, peace.